Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video we are going to be making a flamethrower out of my old turbocharger. So for those of you who don't know, quickly, a little introduction, this here is a turbocharger, which was off of a Toyota Turbo Supra. Basically how they work is there is a two compressor wheels, this one on the left hand side usually goes on your exhaust, and as you can see, when I spin it with my hand, the little fan blade turns. And then there's a shaft that goes down the middle of the turbocharger. And on this side here is the compressor side. When I spin the shaft on this side with my fingers, you can see this spinning in here. Now to make a flamethrower in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is using this cordless impact to spin this side relatively quickly. And then what will happen is the air that goes in here gets compressed and shot out this little hole right here um, out of the turbocharger and so while the coreless drill is spinning the back end we're going to be adding some fuel into the inlet of the turbocharger which will then get compressed shot out to the outlet port of the turbocharger where it will be ignited by this torch and I have a little shield set up here so hopefully we can get a little bit of a flamethrower going so let's see how it works so first we're going to be using some of this starting fluid here and adding a little bit into the compressor housing before we turn it on for less chance of a back explosion. So as you can see I put a few seconds worth of starting fluid in. And now I'm going to go ahead and light my torch. Place it directly in front of the outlet port. Then use the drill to hopefully make a fireball. Here we go in three, two, one. So as you can see that lasted quite long and now just for fun I'm going to check if there's any fluid left remaining. Nope, so no fires happening so that means we're probably all out. It's making a really weird noise. Do you hear that? It's like really hot and pulsating right here. Let's spin it and see if there's any more flames. My torch isn't even on, yet somehow it's making flames. This is ridiculous. How is this happening? I think there must be a fire inside my turbo. Because <laughs> we don't have a pilot light, but we're still making flames. And they're just not stopping. Alright, well, uh, we're going to try and get all that fluid out, then we can do another flamethrower test. This is really weird. Alright, here goes test two. We're going to start over from the beginning. Starter fluid, I think, works better than the uh, bug spray, so... Just put a good amount in the bottom there. Going to go ahead and light the torch. Alright, and here we go with the flamethrower, using the drill. In three, two, one. Alright, so as you can see, basically the big fireball only lasts, let me move the camera up so next time maybe you can see it a little better. The fireball only lasts for as long as the fluid was inside the barrel. So what we're going to do now, I'm not sure how well it's going to work because I don't want the flame to create back pressure, but we're going to try and constantly feed fuel while it's going. So let's see if that works. If not, uh, we'll see what happens. So this time we're going to try constant fuel, so I got uh, my girlfriend to help me out, she can do constant drill, so we'll get that set up right now, and then I'll get the torch set up, and then once the turbocharger is spinning, alright, Okay. Oh, do we have some fuel in there right now? A little bit. Anyway, so once the turbocharger starts moving, I'm going to hit it with some of this and hopefully we don't have any backfiring. 
So uh, give her constant speed. Go ahead. Ready? Okay. So that didn't work at all. It just instantly backfired. So we're going to do one more regular test just to show you guys once more. Okay, here we go. One more test. I put lots of fuel in. We'll give it one pump and see how she goes. Three, two, one. All right, so there it is. The turbocharger flamethrower. Hope you guys like this cool little experiment video. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. And I know it's kind of similar to just using bug spray and a lighter, but I think this method's a lot more fun and it worked pretty well, I'd say. So if you enjoyed this video, please, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And look forward to more awesome videos in the future. Thanks for watching.